This is division of a non-decimal base. For this presentation, I will have the students bring their base five multiplication charts. We're going to be using those as a reference to fill out our base five division chart. For the base five division chart, along the horizontal, we'll have the dividends. We'll have base five, three, one, base five, three, zero, base five, two, two, base five, two, zero, base five, one, four, base five, one, three, base five, one, one, base five, one, zero, and base five, four. Along the vertical, we'll have the divisor, base five, one, base five, two, base five, three, base five, four, base five, one, zero. And we will be looking for the quotient. That's what we'll be filling in on our chart. We're going to first look at the dividend, and we're going to be going back to our multiplication chart. Our dividend is actually going to be the product in the multiplication chart. So if we look at, if we look for base five, three, one, I can have the students scan through the chart looking at the products until they find base five, three, one. Base five, three, one has a multiplicand of four and a multiplier of four. We are looking to fill in the multiplicand as our quotient in the base five chart. So base five, three, one would have, a would have a divisor of four and it would have a quotient of four. So I'm going to come back to the chart, for the division chart. Here I have our dividend. I'll go down to base five, four and I'll fill in the quotient base five, four. Our next dividend is base five, three, zero. Again, I'll have the students go back to the multiplication chart, scan through the products looking for base five, three, zero. There's one here with a multiplier of three and a multiplicand of base five, one, zero. So I can come back to the division chart, base five, three, zero, go down to my divisor, base five, three, and for the quotient, I'm going to fill in base five, one, zero. If they continue to scan to look to see if they can find base five, three, zero again, they can. This time, our divisor is base five, one, zero, and our quotient will be base five, three. So we're going to come down to our divisor and fill in our quotient. The next one is base five, two, two. They can scan through the multiplication chart. Here's the first one. We have three and four. They can come down to the division chart. We have our divisor three, and then our quotient is base five, four. They can go through and continue to scan. Here it is again. This time our quotient is three, and our divisor will be four. For the next one, base five, two, zero, they're going to come up here. Our first one tells us that our divisor is two, and our quotient will be base five, one, zero. They can continue to scan. Here it is again. This time our divisor is base five, one, zero. Our quotient will be base five, two. And I'll have the students continue with base five, one, four. We have a divisor of three and our quotient is three. They can continue to scan just to make sure that that's all we'll be filling in. And they can move on to base five, one, three. Once the students have their base five division chart filled out, we're going to be using both the base five division chart and the base five multiplication chart to continue with this presentation 
as we work out a division equation. For this example, we're going to use the equation base 5, 2, 0, 3, 4, 4, divided by base 5, 3. We're going to look at the first two numbers, 2, 0, and we'll de be dividing that by 3. So up in our chart, if we look for 2, 0, and we come down with a divisor of 3, we know that there is not a whole number if we have 2, 0 divided by 3. So the closest that we can get will be 3, 3 times, which equals 1, 4. So the first number in our quotient will be 3, and we're going to be subtracting 1, 4 from 2, 0. And that leaves us with base 5, 1, and then we'll bring down the next number, which is 3. So now in our chart, along the horizontal, we're looking for 1, 3. Again, our divisor is 3. There's nothing there. So we can go over to the next one, which is 2, and that gives us 1, 1 as our dividend. So the next number in our quotient will be 2, and we're subtracting 1, 1 from 1, 3. That gives us 2, and we can bring down the next number, which is 4. We're going back up to our dividends. We're looking for 2, 4. We don't have 2, 4. We have 3, 0, which is too many, and 2, 2. So we can go down to our divisor of 3, and that gives us 4. So in our quotient, our next number is 4, and we're subtracting 2, 2 from 2, 4. That leaves a remainder of 2, and we can bring down our next number, which is 4 again. And again, there's not a 2, 4 in our dividends, so we're going with 2, 2, coming down to our divisor. The next number in our quotient is 4, and we're subtracting 2, 2 from 2, 4, which leaves us with a remainder of 2, and there are no more numbers to bring down. So our quotient is base 5, 3, 2, 4, 4, and we have a remainder of 2. The students then can check their work. To do that, we're going to take the quotient, base 5, 3, 2, 4, 4, and we're going to be multiplying that by the divisor, which is base 5, 3. And for this, the students will be using their multiplication chart. Here we have 4, 3 times, which is base 5, 2, 2. We're going to leave the 2 and we'll exchange the other 2. Then we have 4, 3 times again. We have base 5, 2, 2, plus the exchange, which is 2. So that's 4, and we exchange the 2. Now we have 2, 3 times which is base 5, 1, 1, and we're adding the exchange. So we have 1, 1 plus 2, which is base 5, 1, 3. We leave the 3 and exchange the 1. Now we have 3, 3 times, which is base 5, 1, 4. We're adding the 1 from the exchange, which in base 5 is 2, 0. And now we need to add our remainder of 2, we have 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 0, 3 plus 0, and we'll remember to write in our base 5. So our checking, our product is base 5, 2, 0, 3, 4, 4, which is the same as our dividend in our original equation.